me the food isn't ready, Lydia. Since when have you been cooking? Don't ask me if the food is ready. Can't you see that I'm cooking? Wait, am I the one that you'll be making? The food will soon be ready, Sharon. Just give me a few more minutes. How many minutes? It's not like it's even beans that you're cooking that you've been cooking since so since since. I will soon be done. I'll be late for my classes. What have you even been doing since? See the place that we used to eat since morning. Look at it on the sink. I've been working since morning. You know that. You've not been doing anything. Look at the place. Look at the food too. If only you agreed to help me, everything would be easier for me. Have you forgotten that I had to wash daddy's clothes this morning? You washed daddy's clothes and you didn't wash my own clothes. You know since when I've kept my clothes in the laundry basket for you. I'm going to wash it, but all these things are too much for me. What is too much for you to do? It's not as if you're doing anything in this house apart from sleeping and waking up every day. What else are you doing? The food is ready. I'll bring it for you at the dining. Because of you, I'll go to school late today. Look at the way she's talking. She can't even do half of all the work I'm doing. All she knows is school. School. As if I don't want to go to school. Is that not Sharon's voice I'm hearing? I'm sure Linda started with her troubles again this morning. Just forget that useless girl. Let me go and meet them there and correct her senses this morning. So they want to leave me all alone here to go and meet them? Is that it? No, it's just that. Petran, don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. But you have to talk to that daughter of yours. She shouldn't be making my daughter shout this early morning. What happened to your own mouth? Can't you talk to her? See, I'm tired of always talking to Lydia every now and then. You are her mother. Please talk to her. Her mother? God forbid. I know the number of children that I have. You are the one who is her father. I'm her father, I agree. But you are the one who raised her up. I agree I raised her up, but she never listens. She can't do anything right. It's more like the older she's becoming, the more she's getting stubborn. What do we do to those that are stubborn? Oh, trust me. I'll collect all her stubbornness with my whip. I don't even need a whip. My hands are enough. I won't advise you to raise your hands though, because your hands will definitely ache her. That reminds me. This man has even came to meet me, Chief Olu. He wants to marry her for his son in Lagos. Which Chief Olu are you talking about? Is it that wealthy man? Yes, the wealthy one. He wants to marry Lydia for his son. You don't even have my time anymore, Titi. You've just been scarce. You can't blame me. The situation of the country right now that is making me scared. What's the situation of the country? Please tell me. You can't know about it, Esther. You are living the softest kind of life here. And you've got everything you need at your disposal. Is that what you think of me, Titi? Do you have any idea how hectic things have been for my business? Your business has been going very well, darling. See, you still don't have any idea what it's like to be the one doing everything all alone. Everything is just tiring and there's no money. You and this your statement every time. We say no money, no money. It's the truth. I'm not lying to you. Look at me. Haven't I lost weight? You've not lost weight, Titi. You're still as beautiful as you've always been. Who will look at you and say that you have a daughter of your own? Esther, you and this mouth of yours. You just know how to sweet mouth a person. I'm only telling you the truth here. How's my darling Rose doing? Rose is doing fine. And how's your grandma? I've not seen her around. You know she doesn't like to sit in one place. She loves to move here and there every time. You're meant to be with her. No, no, no. See, that was before when I was acting like a good girl. When she was busy introducing me to all her friends' sons, telling me their history. I wouldn't blame her for doing that. I know you always support her, but that's by the way. My baby just messaged me, Titi. Your baby? That's new. Who's this baby of yours? You can't possibly think of agreeing with that. I want to agree to it, darling. See, if Lydia is gone out of this house, I can be at ease in my mind, knowing that she'll be with her own man. Own man? Then what about my own daughter? What about Sharon? Didn't the chief see her and say that he wants her for his own son? He didn't say anything related to that. He said he doesn't want an educated lady for his son. But someone who's uneducated like Lydia, she isn't smart, you know. No, 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 no. See, this will not work. Chief wants to marry Linda off to his son and leave me here with my own daughter. Tell him it will not work, oh. Baby, see it this way. Who will be doing all this housework? Just who? Am I the one? That's something I didn't think of. See, I've not given the chief any response yet. I just laughed at what he said. And if you see him, just tell him that Sharon is the perfect match for his son. Who am I a perfect match for, mom? It's for Chief Olu's son. I'm not interested in him, mom. I already have a man of my own. You better remove men from that head of yours and focus on your school so you can meet someone better that will seek your hand in marriage. 
Daddy, there's no rush on that. Trust me, I'll bring someone wealthy home. I don't need any local man here as my own husband. I heard my daughter Bertrand for Linda's own, it's a big no. She can't marry him and leave us all alone in this house. Lydia is getting married to the chief. Don't, don't worry about that, Sharon. It's something between me and your dad. Tell me about him and stop all this pressing of phone. Just give me one minute, darling. Oh, baby, you're funny. See, I'm sorry about that, but whenever me and my baby start chatting like this, it's like I can't hear anyone around me, except for my grandma, of course. Give me the details. How did you guys meet? When did this even happen? It happened like three months ago. We've just been chatting as friends, but I noticed something totally different about him. He's so caring and loving. Chatting? Like online bodies or what? I met him online, but we always have the time we both chat with each other, call on videos, you know, so I can see him and know that he's not lying or a fraudster. I see. So where is he? What state? He's not in the country, babe. He's on the ship right now, close to Russia. Ah, he's not here with us. So all this love is just an online love. Yes, he's in the military. I've seen some of his friends as well. See, before you start thinking he's fake, I have video records of our calls. I'm not saying he's fake. It's just the distance I'm looking at for you. I know, but he'll soon be back home. He'll come straight to see me here in Abuja. You should not stay for long, go. I don't know how you're able to do all this online love thing, Esther. It's like you don't want to date any man near you, right? Which better man have you seen around me? All those guys. Come on, Esther. I can count more than six sweet, good-looking men. It's not about that. You won't understand. But it's not even their fault. It's my heart that's the issue here. She's too picky and the man she has chosen is Dennis. Dennis? What's his last name? Why are you asking? So you go and look for him online, snatching him away from me? You know, I can't do that to you. Why will I? When I have lots of men around me. How is Simon, your sugar daddy that I introduced you to? Introduce me to young men, Esther. Take me to your circle of friends. Let me meet all those waiting men now. So I can have money to take care of myself. All the ones I have been introducing you to, what have you done with them? I, I could, could, I could. <laughs> so this is how they spell could. C-O-U-L-D. Could, I could. This word seems familiar, but I can't read it. I could. This is where you are. What are you doing with that book in your hand? Not in daddy. I'm just looking at the pictures in it. Do you even know how to read the writings under the pictures that you are reading it? No, sir. I don't know how to read, daddy. My brain is too weak to read. Exactly. Your brain is too weak to read. Throw away the book. I don't want to see you with any of Sharon's book in this house. You know this is not the first time I'm telling you this. Yes, sir. I know. Your sister came to report you to me that you've been insulting her again and telling her that you are the senior one in this house. No, daddy. I didn't say anything like that to her. I swear I didn't. So, are you saying that Sharon came to tell a lie? Is that it? Daddy, I didn't say anything like that to her. I can't say something like that to her. You only came before Sharon, but she's your senior in this house. She seniors you with everything. Her mother, my darling Dokas, also seniors your mother in this house. Is that clear? Yes, daddy. You are just here by chance. You know I would have thrown you out of the house when that stupid mother of yours brought you here. But I gave you a roof over your head. I know, daddy. I remember. As I've taken care of you to the extent any cost I place on you, I hope you know it will follow you up till you die because I suffer to cater for you. Look at the time. Shouldn't you be on your way to school already? I don't even feel like going anywhere, mom. Lady has already wasted my time. I'll be telling you next time, just make tea and go to school. You know she will deliberately choose not to cook on time so that you stay at home with her. I know she used to do that on purpose. She thinks she can tell me to be like her, someone who's an illiterate. You, my daughter, can never be like her. Yeah, she's like that. She can never amount to anything but only continue to rape from her mother's evil deeds. Mom, let me get the door. Hello, Auntie. Good morning, Ma. Rose, how are you doing and how is your mom? I'm fine, Ma. Her mom is doing fine. Why have you gone to school? Or oh, you don't have classes today? Nothing really. What about you? Why are you here? No classes. 
I'm not going to school today. I'm just out of all of school activities already. You ladies should come out from the attitude of being lazy. Do you know how much I'm paying for your tuition fees alone? Especially you, Rose. You know your mom is the one doing everything for you and you're here saying you're lazy for school. Right now, the both of you should just get up and go to school. Or do you want to be like Linda? See, I've heard what you said. I'm thinking of introducing you to some new people. If you do that now, I will stop asking you for money every time. Don't even go to money. I have nothing to give you today, Titi. Insecure to the end of the year. I don't have any money to give you. You will give me money, Esther. <laughs> Who do you want me to turn to for help? Titi, are you the one I'm seeing there? Yes, Grandma. She's the one. She finally came to see us. Good morning, Grandma. How are you doing, Ma? How's your body? I'm doing very fine, Titi. And I'm fine. You've been running away from us for quite a while. Why is that? I've not seen you around for a while now. I've just been busy, Ma. But I'll make sure that I'm not far from here anymore. I hope Esther has asked that they make you something yummy. Granny, you're sounding like you don't know Titi. She has eaten everything at home. That's good. I hope you're telling your friend to get ready to bring me a man home. Not again, Granny. You just go back. You should go and rest. Take a shower and eat. Did I tell you that I'm hungry? Did I? Sorry, Ma. Don't be offended. I'm always talking to Esther. Don't worry, Ma. Very soon, she'll bring home a man for you. So you can have plenty grandkids for you. You as well, Titi. You should be with a man of your own as well. Help me to tell my grandma that she should also get married. You both are friends and you should be telling yourself the truth. At least Titi has a child. You two have a child of your own. So I'll carry my baby before I die. Granny, you're not dying anytime soon. None of us will die soon. You both should just tell yourself the truth and do the right thing. Now, I hope you've not been seeing any of Chief Olu's son. No, I haven't, sir. I don't support you seeing him or anyone. When the time is right, I will tell you the man that will marry you when the time is right. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. I've heard you. If the chief should call you and tell you anything, tell him that he has to speak with your dad first before anything. Yes, daddy. I've heard you, sir. I don't want you talking to any man, not even the chief. Once you tell him this, if he keeps pressuring you on anything, tell me about it. Yes, sir. I've heard you. And you need to stop starting fights with your sister. I don't like it. At least, let there be a day in this house that there won't be an argument or fight. My darling son and daughter, I've missed the both of you and I wish that the two of you are still alive. If only you guys are still alive now, things would have gone better and I would have been happier. I hope you keep resting on in heaven and keep watching over Esther for me. I will wish she were her own man that will love her and respect her and treat her right. My body, oh my body, Esther, Esther. Granny, Granny, what's wrong? What's happening? My body aches me badly. I can't seem to move my legs as well. It's like it's stiff. Oh my god, your legs are stiff, Grandma. It's can't be stiff, no. Call Dr. Charles quickly, call him. Hello, Dr. Charles. Please, can you come over to the house? My grandma isn't feeling well. Please hurry. Grandma is on his way. I'll, we will soon be here. I'm in so much pain here. I can't feel my legs. I can't feel my legs. Grandma, please stop crying. You're going to be fine. You want me to start crying? I don't want to die now, Esther. I don't want to leave you alone in this world. Granny, you're not going to die. I'll call the maids to heat some water so your legs will be massaged. No, don't call anyone. I want you by my side here. Don't call them. Toto Charles will soon be here, ma. I'll call him again. Everything is fine. Hope you're also doing fine. We've barely even had time to talk. I'm fine. I wanted to talk to you before you left for school earlier on. But I was doing something inside the house. I know. So have you finished reading the book I gave you? <laughs> you are not serious. I can't read that book. So you mean you didn't read that page that I taught you how to read? I can't read, Rose. See, I have accepted it that reading books is not for me. Reading of books is for everyone. My brain can't take books. See, I'm not that smart, Rose. I have accepted it. Who told you so? Go and bring the book that I gave you. Let's read together. I don't even know where I kept the book. Rose, are you not going out with me again or you've changed your mind? I want to show Lydia how to read something first before we leave. Read? <laughs> oh, Lydia wants to read?
Here is the book, Rose. Daddy is going to be really pissed if he knows that you're teaching her how to read. But let me even hear Lydia read. Please read, let's see. I can't read, Rose. I'm not smart. I don't know why you like wasting your time with Lydia. See, let's go out, Rose. I won't tell dad or mom that you're still teaching her how to read. Come on, Lydia, read the book. Try to read it. You should be able to read it. She can't read the book. She's just big for nothing. 22 years old, but can't read. Even a child of 3 to 5 can read. You don't know how relieved I am about this. She's going to be fine, Esther. She just needs to keep resting. Lots of rest. Granny doesn't listen. You know how many times I've told her to stop walking up and down. Unnecessarily, but she doesn't listen. I didn't say she should stop exercising. She still needs those strolls. She does, I know. But tell her to keep it to a limit. Because she loves to overdo things. If you tell her now that she should start exercising, she will do more than that. You can be taking strolls with her. This will make her not to do much. I'll consider that. You used to do it before, Esther. What happened that you stopped? My grandma stayed introducing me to everyone. And you know how I feel about those kind of stuff. You and Mama, well, just make sure that when she wakes up, she takes the drugs. I'll make sure that she does, Dr. Charles. Thank you very much. You are always welcome. And remember, if you notice anything, just call me or bring her to the hospital if it's really urgent. Grandma will not come to the hospital. Why are you acting like you don't know her? <laughs> her superstitious beliefs. Well, she'll be okay. I can't thank you enough, Doctor. Thank you. You are welcome. I'll come check on her in the morning. Good night, Esther. Sharon, that's not fair for you to say to her. What's not fair here? Are you going to come with me or you're going to be here? Have you told Daddy about it? Why else would I be here asking you that we should leave? If Joseph gets here and you're not yet dressed, I'll leave alone. Where are you guys going to? We have a birthday party to attend and you know the way your mom is. She won't allow Lee Sharon to go out. You should dress up and go and join her. I don't want Sharon to think that I'm the reason you are going to make her late. Don't mind that about what she has said earlier on. And don't worry, it's not too late for anyone to go to school. Remember the pictures of the people I showed you in my class? All of that isn't even my mind. Even if I go to school, I will fail. My dad showed me my old reports. And in all of them, I failed. Failing doesn't mean you can't still do well in school. I only wish dad would allow me to go and learn a skill, at least sewing. Have you told him about it? You know he has a softer heart than auntie. Softer heart? <laughs> My dad that told me that he was going to curse me if I should dare run away from the house or get married to anyone at his back. He would curse you? Why are you thinking of running away from the house? Even if I run, where will I go to? Look at this young girl that ran away from the house, Cecilia. She came back home pregnant. I'm not ready for that. Where will I even run to? If only my mom was alive, things would be different for me, for sure. Everything will still be fine. Just keep that hope. Yeah, sure, I know. One thing that makes me happy is the thought of getting married to a wealthy man that will come and take me out of this country. <laughs> but it's only a dream. It can come to pass though. An illiterate like me. I don't even know how I'm able to school, um, speak good English. I can't read. I can't even calculate very well. Rose, please go and meet Sharon before this talk I'm saying. Forget it. You know I don't like the way two of them are going out this late. You don't need to worry about that, Bertrand. They are just going for a birthday party. Birthday party? I don't like all of these dockers. Call them back. Baby, you worry a lot. Do you think my daughter and Rose will do anything stupid at the birthday party? They might not do anything, but they are still small. <laughs> they are small. Children that are more than like 20 years are small kids. You have got to be joking. Remember how old I was when you married me? I remembered, but you know the way men are right now. Most especially these men out there that love to take advantage of young ladies. The only ladies they can take advantage of is Lydia. If it's Lydia that is going out now, I'll be worried. I won't even allow her to go out because she's dumb and don't know anything. She'll be doing like something I don't know. That's true, but I don't want Sharon also going out late. You worry a lot, my love. See, nothing will happen to them. I trust Sharon and Rose very well with my whole heart. I also trust them, but I'm just saying. Good morning, Grandma. My Titi, how are you doing and how is Rose? I'm fine, Ma. And she's also fine. How are you feeling now, Ma? Like, Esther called me and she told me what happened last night. I knew she was going to tell you. I told her that it wasn't necessary. Grandma, she has to tell me. Do you know how terrified she was last night? I know, but I didn't mean to get her scared. I'm not happy that all these things are happening to me. But this is what happens at old age. 
I know, ma. But you can help the whole situation by following the advice of the doctor. The doctor wants me to rest for full two weeks. I should be at home and not to do anything, just sleeping and eating. It's because of your health, so you will be much stronger. I am not going to live my last days like this at home sleeping. Unless if Esther has given me a baby, I will happily stay at home and watch the baby. Grandma, you and this baby of a teen. Look at me, Titi. What if I have died yesterday? You are not going to die, ma. You all keep saying this, but no one run away from death. Even those who are not old up to me are dying. Not to talk of me, an old woman that is almost 80. You don't look 80, ma. You're still strong. Talk to your friend for me. Tell her to bring a man home for me. Let her even get married to someone, Titi. Let me witness her wedding and carry a baby, please, Titi. Talk to her for me. Do you know that I've not seen her with any man for quite a long, a while now? Mama, don't worry. Very soon, you'll meet Esther's man. I don't want it to be very soon. I want it to be this month. I'm dying, Titi. I'm dying. And I won't be happy if I die without witnessing her wedding at least.